I'm Erdem Gündüz. I'm a dancer and freelance choreographer. Uh, people know me as the standing man. Uh, there is one phrase in English. Uh, how is done? Uh, or Yeah. This is how it's done, actually. In 2013, the Turkish government issued a ban on the demonstration on Taksim Sukar in Istanbul. In that moment, for eight hours, I stood silently without any movement. Then, at that time, mo my motionless uh, protest unleashed a tsunami of activity on Twitter. Today in Turkey, the government is systematically demolish human rights and freedom of expression every day. It's hard to speak as freely as you think. All forms of medium communication are controlled. I also see that money, not humanity, is what is matter to the Turkish government. For example, the issue of worker rights doesn't matter at all for those who own the capital. As a standing man, I became what people describe as a symbol of for equality and freedom. But in the beginning, my concept was not to deliver a performance. My aim was not to perform a piece, although I'm a performer, dancer and choreographer. My concern is what you can say with only the body. Sometimes the attitude of a body may be more meaningful than the attitude a language. My protest arose for, from uh, my keen disappointment of the bias of the Turkish media and their failure to report the Gezi uh, <laughs> protest in Gezi Park and Taksim Suker in a correct and objective way. I also sought to light out, highlight uh, police brutality during this event. My aim was at the same time, I wanted to to demonstrate my respect to the principles and ideas of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, the founder of Turkish Republic. His concept was people at home, people, uh, peace at home, peace in the world, which is needed Middle East. During the Gezi Park, the days, People needed hope. My peaceful gesture was to give them that little hope. After seeing what was happening on the television or social media, people came, the, came to Taksim Sukar and they saw me. This was important because after a first mom moment of excited, excitement, uh, there was no longer any hope among those who were protesting because things look dark. I have to summarize what happened while I was standing still. There are many ways to perceive what I did. The way it is perceived depends on the point of view of the observer. My individual reason is similar to those of others asking for more freedom. So I decided to do something too. Nobody had told me before that this was a form of silent protest, that this was a performance or activism or artivism or whatever. I cannot judge what I have done myself. I just did it because I was there as a citizen who lives in that country. I simply believe 
in individual actions. My purpose of doing this was not doing a performance or creating a piece of art. It is also the same for understanding of fine art. A few hours later, people became to form the reproduction of the standing man, like pop art. Soon it became clear that this was not meant to, a, uh, to be a performance, but a reaction against the media institution who did not cover the protest in rightful way and a reaction against the police violence. This was not a performance anymore. And all the information about my personal background, about who exactly I am, has now gained multiple meanings. I was there, like a medium that transfers the social conscience back to society itself. I felt pain in my chest for my country. I wanted to reach Taksim Sukar, so I passed the zone forbidden the protesters by the police and I entered alone, as, a, as if I were a tourist. I reached the Sukar, it was June 17, 2013. I found myself in front of Atatürk Cultural Center and there I realized that it would be a significant action standing there. And from that moment, everything worked automatically for me. My reasons were different, not different, from those of other protesters. I did not go there to do something powerful. Only after standing, I realized that this was the right time and right place to do something. At that time, I could not imagine how then it would grow. People have shared on Facebook and Twitter the hashtag Dranadam, the hashtag Standing Man. Then, some of them came to the streets, others joined the action of continuous the standing still. And they were still standing where they were. Why did people follow this man? My standing man protest and my potential immobility and silence provoked prov prov the stronger than anyone could imagine. Sometimes I have the feeling that I have to do something. We have to do something before the reason comes. Because when the reason comes, it will be already too late to do something. I would like to quote uh, Professor Peter Weibel on spontaneous mass protest and activism. The new form of spontaneous mass protest by individuals have shown, especially in, in the case of Arab Spring, how at least for a brief moment in history, established power system can be annulled. Problems of democracy and economy, above all corruption, are also foci of global activist protest, just as are a call for adherence to human rights, peaceful solution for global conflict, a sound of immigration policy, healthy care, prote protection of animals and the environment. My individual protest of a dancer was able to remind the world about the power of art and the way it's used. Exactly a year and four months ago, we have how passivity can be turned into a powerful action. It was a way of creating empathy and awareness of the station among people. These kind of individual acts 
have a great impact on fight for freedom and human rights. We have the chance we have the chance to witness that these problems are not local but global. On those days I felt the need to do something and my body did. We have to do something before the reason comes because as I said when the reason comes, it will be already be too late to do something. As a working employee, you fight for the right of the unemployed people. As a healthy person, you fight against the problem of healthy system. As a free man, as a free human, you fight for freedom. In Turkey, there is no freedom of access to information. There is no freedom of speech and thought. First of all, its citizens cannot control the natural source of their own country. They are not free. In Gezi Park, people fought for their freedom. They resist and some of died. In memory of all who expressed their belief and lost their life, please think about how you can take and stand in a powerful way to that will change our future for the best.